Welcome, citizens. Chet Arias here. This is another voice tag and HCS voice packs video in my series of videos. I've got uh, a really cool one here for you that uses the advanced camera system. Now, the advanced camera system is super useful, actually, uh, especially two specific views that I use all the time. Um, so normally, if you want to see outside your ship, you hit F4 to see outside your ship. This works, you know, for your character too, right? You can be walking around and do the same thing. Um, but um, using um, the advanced camera mode, you can actually set a bunch of different camera angles up um, and then recall to them uh, very quickly using the, uh, the number pad the numbers on the number pad. So what you do to, to uh, save one is you hold F4 down and then you hold the number on the number pad for three seconds and that will save that camera angle to that key. And then to go to go to that camera angle, you just hold F4 down and tap the key. So uh, I've done that al already and set up uh, camera angles and I just do them the same way the, the layout is, right? So um, the the five key on the number pad just does an overhead view. So uh, switch back here. Ava, cam overhead. Five. So there you go. Super handy for landing in a tight spot. I use it all the time. Um, the next one that I use quite often is Ava Cam Default. Ava Cam Default. There we go. My mic is giving me problems today. Uh, so Cam Default, another kind of good landing one, gives you a, a little bit of an overhead rear view. Uh, also fun for low flying and things like that, so you can kind of see where you're going. But the other one that I find super useful uh, for landing uh, on a lot of ships, like especially uh, ones with ramps like uh, like the Cutlass Black, there's a lot of traffic going on at the station today, um, is uh, a lower uh, rear view that shows you whether your ramp is super high off the ground or not. Once you pull out a vehicle from your ship, if you're uh, and you leave the ship, if the ramp is too high, especially on higher gravity places, you might not be able to get back in the ship. So I I like to check when I'm landing, open the door, and just make sure that it's low enough where I can get my vehicle in and out, and where I can get in. So, Ava, camera rear. Two. Okay, and it's going to tell you what camera number uh, it is assigned to. So you can say. Um, uh, Ava Cam Five. Five. Right, so that's the same as overhead. Um, Ava Cam Left. Four. Ava Cam Right. Six. Ava Cam Front. Eight. So, and if you want to adjust any of these uh, as you're going, right? Let's say I want I want this a little bit lower. Uh, perhaps I'm using a C2, and I want to you know I want to get it adjusted. That way, um, you just hold I I just hold Z and then you can move the mouse and uh, get it to where you want, and then you can tell Ava to save it. Ava cam save eight. Adding eight. So there you go. I just adjusted it so it's lower. Ava cam default. Ava cam default. Ava cam eight. Eight. So yeah, and uh, also I have, um, I set mine to do um, like rear left, rear right. Ava, cam rear left. One. So you can just get different angles. Uh, Ava, cam front left. Seven. Uh, so a uh, quick look at the macros. They're pretty straightforward.
Uh, so we'll look at default first. Uh, I'm just, I just have it beep so that you know that it did something. Um, you can change that to whatever you want or just get rid of it. I don't care. Uh, it's going to press down the F4 key. It's going to wait uh, just a tenth of a second. And then it's going to uh, hit the multiply key. So that's how you do the uh, camera default is pull down F4 and hit the star. Um, and that's what it does. Uh, the other ones are all basically the same, just changes the number. I'm just saying uh, having the HCS voice pack Astra say one. It holds down the F4 key, waits for tenth of a second, and then uh, hits the uh, numpad, numpad one key or whatever key um, you've told it to do. Uh, as for saving, very similar. It's just that instead of just tapping the key, it's going to hold the key down for 3.1 seconds because you need to uh, do it for three seconds. So I'm going just a bit over. Um, and uh, I've got it saying adding one so that you can hear what camera it's being assigned to. And that is it. I hope everyone enjoyed my video. If you've got any uh, ideas for videos leave them in the contents if you've got improvements for my macros or have uh, suggestions on the video let me know i love getting uh constructive criticism take care everyone bye